Are you looking to integrate XVerify with JotForm? Well, this is the tutorial for you. Follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to integrate XVerify with JotForm. That way, no one can submit a form unless they verify the email. This way, you're not receiving false emails and you're making sure that emails are verified. So, let's get started. Let's start off with creating a brand new form. Let's go ahead and select classic form. And this is going to open up our form builder. Let's drag in some basic elements and we're going to get started. Let's ask for the full name, phone number, and for the email, we're not going to use this element. We're going to head on over to our settings. We're going to go to integrations and we are going to search for X verify. Here we go. We are going to select it. And now it added the email element with X verify. Now it's going to ask us for the API key to start off with X verify. So let's go ahead and over to our X verify account. In this case, this is my X verify dashboard and it gets started to find our API key. We are going to head on over to my account. And here is the API key. We are going to grab this. We are going to copy it. And before we continue, it's important that you add the domain. In this case, you're going to click add domain and we are going to add jotform.com. In this case, it's already added. So it says it says it's already existed. If we don't add that, the, birth, the integration is not going to work. So once it's already added, we're going to head over to jotform again. We are going to pass, paste our API key right here. There we go. And for the placeholder, we can replace this with something else. For example, email at example.com. If you want to just change the placeholder, allow unknown emails. So that means that if the X verify integration says that it's not a valid email, they won't be able to submit the form. If you still want to let them go through, we can select yes. Okay. And if you want to go to fur further customization, we can use custom CSS. Okay. Let's update our widget. There we go. Now we should be integrated. Let's test it out. Let's go into publish open in a new tab. Here we go. And I'm just going to fill in some quick details and we'll add a random phone number and the email field. Let's get started. Let's add a crazy email just for testing purposes. And I'm going to click away and X verify it's going to do its magic. So the registrations are not are currently closed. That means it's not a valid email. If I go ahead and submit it, well, it's not going to let me unless I change the settings. Now, let me go ahead and add a real email. Here we go. Click away. And this is a verified email. I can go ahead and submit it. It's been submitted. There we go. Now let's go into our X verify account. Let's go into our dashboard. Here we go. And you're going to see that it's been working with the email verifications and it's going to deduct from your, your credits available. So in this case, valid two emails and risky three emails. So this is my analytics for the emails that it's been verifying. And that's thanks to X verify. Now let's go check out other settings on X verify. Let's go back into our job form, go into the builder. Let's go into the widget settings. And we have another option here, which is allow unknown emails. That means that if we want to allow emails that X verify doesn't know if it's false or true, like verified, it's going to allow it. So it's a little bit more flexible in that sense. And we go ahead and save it. And if an email is unknown to X verify, it's going to allow the form submission. Now, if you want to tweak the properties for X verify, we can click on properties. And we can work on alignment, label, li label align with height required, yes or no. In this case, we do want the email, but if you didn't want to make it require, we can set it to no, and it's going to remove the little red star from it. But we're going to leave it verified. And if you want to go to advanced settings, we can change the widget name, the question text. We can shrink it if we want to make it smaller and add another element on the right. Move to a new line and hide field. Those are the options. Well, that is how you integrate XVerify with JotForm. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.